this is today's weather. As you can see, the so-called beast from the east has apparently got to us. And it's not looking like it wants to stop anytime soon. Um, looks like I'm filming indoors today. And uh, yeah, I'm going nowhere today. <laughs> I'm just going to stay indoors and look at the pretty snow and maybe do a video or two for you. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually filming two videos. One of them is a foundation review on this which is now finally available in the UK. This is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. Now I'm sure we've all tried the L'Oreal mattes, the L'Oreal infallibles, I have seen people like Raw Beauty Christie go on about this Pro Glow by L'Oreal and I've wanted to use it for so long. So long but you just couldn't get it here. A friend of mine was on holiday in America and very kindly picked one up for me so I could give it a try so that you can see how it works on my oily combo skin. And uh, I believe it's coming to Amazon. If it's not live now it should be very very soon. So, you know. Stay tuned, see how this works, see how it looks on my skin, see whether you'd like to try it. And as always, come on, you know it by now, sing it with me. When will I be YouTube famous? Alright, that's enough of that. Here's the tutorial. Hey, welcome back from the intro that I haven't filmed yet. Right, so today, trying out this, which is the new, to the UK anyway, L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. Now we've had the, um, the matte foundation over here for quite a while, and I keep seeing people like Raw Beauty Christie use this, and I'm like, I really want to try it. So I finally had a friend who's over in America um, for a holiday come back with one of these for me. So that was really helpful and you're now going to be able to get it on Amazon in the UK I think it launches uh, either later this week or start of next week so again using my phone case let's squeeze some of this out yeah very liquidy very very liquidy as you can see I've gone for shade 201, Classic Ivory, which is actually the lightest one at the moment that I can get. Apparently it's a radiant finish, wear time up to 24 hours, medium coverage with an air light texture. Dot onto skin in rolling motion for flawless coverage. Alright, so as I've never used it before, I'm going to do brush one side using just a normal kabuki brush and sponge on the other. So, let's scoot you in a bit, see how this goes on. As always, oh it's cold, as always, start in the middle of your face and work out to the edges. It does feel very, very light as it's going on, I will say that for it, it's a lovely texture. be interesting to see how it fares on my oily combo skin though, because I struggle keeping matte foundations looking okay. But there are times, particularly with me getting older, that I do want a more dewy look. So let's see. Oh, this fares. Okay, well we can see it's actually actually covered up a lot more than I was expecting. I mean you can if you compare the dark circles and it's taken a lot of the redness away as well. Obviously I'm still gonna need to use concealer, but then I always have to use concealer, so you know that's that's not exactly a surprise to me. But that is really looking quite nice. I'm just 
using a face wipe to get the worst of this off. I have um, moisturised, fresh, you know, clean face. I've moisturised and I have used my usual face base facial antiperspirant as my primer. Let's get the right I'll do that properly in a minute. Right, let's go in with a sponge on this side and see if it goes on any differently. I normally find with a sponge I end up using more foundation because obviously the sponge soaks a little bit up. And certainly with full coverage foundations I find it shears it out a little bit. Probably because of the um, the moisture in the actual sponge itself. Oops. Just another look in my mirror down here. Again. Not a huge amount of difference, but I do think I prefer the finish with the sponge, so I'll just smooth this side out. So I'm looking more even as I'm using a radiant, or glowy, or dewy foundation. I'm going to use my Too Faced On This Way Radiant Concealer in Very Fair. As always, you do not need to do these ruddy great triangles that you see people doing on YouTube. It's just not necessary. ends up leaving you looking cakey. I tend to use a flat foundation brush for blending mine out and I don't use an eyeshadow primer because I have found that using whatever concealer I've chosen works for me just as well. If you find that the concealer doesn't work for you then by all means use an eyeshadow primer. Don't let me stop you. Update on the snow from yesterday, we had loads more overnight, um, it did start to thaw a little bit yesterday, so I was hoping it was going to go, but then it started, um, the temperatures dropped and it all, all the slush froze and then we had fresh snow dumped on top of it, so we've got even more outside today. Thankfully though, it doesn't seem to have snowed much this morning and currently it's actually not snowing, which is fantastic absolutely fantastic now even though this is um, a dewy foundation obviously I'm going to set it with powder uh, I will disappear off camera in just a moment and apply the rest of my makeup let me give you a time check right now it's quarter to 12 so let's have a quick zoom in so we can have a close look at it obviously it's just been applied so it's not settling looking nice and healthy, nice little shine there even before I put my highlight on. Just make sure it's, give it a fighting chance around my nose there. There we go. And I'm not settling anywhere so that's looking good. Right, I'll be back pretty instantly for you with a lot more colour on my face. But during that split second, it'll be great if you press the subscribe button and the notification bell to join my notification squad so you don't miss out on any more of this fun and games. Okay, see you in a split second.
Hello, check in number one. It's currently uh, just coming up to half past five, so this has been on just under six hours. So let's have a scoot in, see how it's doing. It's not settling in any of the fine lines or splitting, that's good. Still looking nice and actually hydrated. I normally have an issue with my under eyes looking very, very dry by this time of day. But that's actually looking quite hydrated compared to what they're normally like. Uh, yeah, starting to split a little bit where my oils are coming through. I'm beginning to come off of my nose a bit. Not settling in my smile lines, but it is starting to come off my chin too. So chin and nose are the main casualties at the moment. Um, rest of the makeup seems to be holding on strong, so that's good. I'm actually quite surprised. Normally with um, glowy foundations like this one I normally really really struggle it doesn't normally they won't stay on my face more than about three or four hours so the fact this has gone nearly six and is you know it's still passable I still wouldn't I mean bearing in mind I haven't powdered I haven't blotted I haven't done anything to it um, obviously if you're at work lunchtime you'd go and add maybe a bit more you know blot put a bit more powder on and then I probably have a wee bit more coverage on my nose and my chin than I have at the moment but the whole point of these wear tests is that I don't the only thing I do do is touch my lipstick up if it needs it because I hate that butthole lip look <laughs> but yeah I'm actually shocked and surprised and I can really understand now why all these American beauty gurus We've had this for months before it was released over here. I can see why they love it so much. It really, really is. I, I really like this foundation. I, I don't normally go for dewy foundations, but I like this. Mm. Alrighty, I will check in again at the end of the night and see how this has gone. In the meantime, my hair is going flat, which fabulous. Nobody to quote Shania, my hair went flat. Man, I hate that. So I'm I'm gonna go and I don't know what I'm gonna do to be quite honest, but I'll see you again at the end of the night. It'd be great if you click subscribe in the meantime. See you in a second. Bye bye for now. Hi guys, check in number two. It is just coming up to 10 o'clock, so this has been on now for just over 10 hours. And obviously, oily combo skin and dewy foundations normally are not a very good match. So let's zoom in and see how this one's been doing. Okay, you can see it's not actually settled in the line, but it is actually splitting, um, which does make the line, if you look there, look, it does make that line look a lot more obvious, which is frustrating. Under eyes are still looking nice and moisturised though, that's one benefit to a, a dewy foundation I suppose. Um, I think if I come a little bit closer. Will you be able to focus on me? There we go. You can see here it's split, it's gone cakey. Foundation's all coming off the sides of my nose here. Um, pretty much nothing on the end there. You can see it's going patchy at the sides. Um, again, wearing off of the chin. Yeah, it's splitting around the. See what it's settling there in that last line. Not fabulous. 
but you can see it's completely gone from the end of my nose there. Okay, let's um, I mean, my because obviously I carried it across my eyelids, it doesn't seem to have made the eye makeup um, split or crease too much. But then obviously, I did lay the concealer down on top of it. Let's have a look at the face makeup, that's probably better. Because obviously there's no concealer under that, there's just the foundation and the powder. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not doing too bad on the powder products, so it's not um, it's not causing those to, to crease up or fade too much. Okay, so, my final thoughts on L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation as opposed to the matte. Uh, do I like it? the first five or six hours yeah it's quite nice actually uh, beyond that to where I've got oily combo skin really starts to break down starts to look scrappy so um, I'm not even sure I mean you know if you if you count a full working day as eight hours I'm not even sure if blotting and powdering sort of halfway through that would help hold it onto your face any longer um, obviously I don't I don't blot or add anything else except top lipstick up when I'm doing these wear time tests on the drier areas of, of my skin my under eyes um, and uh, just the, the corners you know the, the bottom of my cheeks here it looks really lovely so if you've got normal to dry skin that's going to look absolutely fantastic on you if you've got oily combo like me um, yeah for a few hours it looks good um, so I don't know if you're popping out to meet the girls for lunch or um, I suppose you could get away with it if you built it up a little bit um, to get a bit more coverage I suppose you could get away with it for an evening um, foundation if you're not going to be out for more than sort of four or five hours then you know that that would work quite well for a a long day where you're going to be out all day if you've got oily skin just don't it's really not worth it um, but for shorter periods I do still like it I will still I will still use this on days when I've not got much to do um, you know, Sundays when you, you nip out to church or go and do the shopping, food shopping, get it out of the way. Uh, then then I'll probably pop it on for that. But, you know, if I'm if I'm out all day with doctor's appointments, hospital appointments, whatever, no. No, I'll, I'll stick to a, a matte foundation, thanks, because at least I know I've got more of a chance of keeping that on my face. Okay, so kind of a kind of a mixed bag I suppose it really very much depends on what your skin's like as to whether you're gonna like that foundation um, have you tried it do you like it let me know in the comments section what you think of it do you, do you have dry skin does it look lovely on you for hours and hours and hours um, or are you like me do you find that you, you end up with nothing on your nose and your chin's wearing off and it's emphasizing all of those wonderful little lines that nobody wants emphasized okay that's enough for me for one night I am going to take all this off I'm going to have a nice big glass of water and I'm cold and I'm tired and I'm actually in quite a bit of pain so I'm going to head up to bed and um, I've either got really loud mice or that's the husband upstairs and apparently we have a squeaky floorboard on the landing. Great time to find out. Anyway, that's enough from me. I hope you have a fab rest of your day or night, wherever you are, whatever time zone you're watching me in. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye now.